and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh on Monday underscored the importance of the inner line permit or ILP system, calling it vital for safeguarding the civilization, culture and traditions of the state's indigenous people. The ILP, which dates back to the Bengal Eastern Frontier Regulation of 1873, was extended to Manipur on December 9, 2019. Singh highlighted that Manipur became the first state in India to implement ILP after independence. Prior to this, the system was in place in Mizoram, Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh, where nearly 90% of the population belonged to tribal communities. The Chief Minister also noted that several northeastern states, including Assam, Meghalaya, and Sikkim, have been demanding the implementation of ILP within their territories. The Border Security Force, or BSF, apprehended a Nigerian national, three Bangladeshi nationals and an Indian tout in separate operations along the India-Bangladesh border in Tripura on Monday. Acting on specific intelligence, the BSF set up a checkpoint at Kaya Dhepa in Sepahijala district where a Nigerian national identified as Maxwell Weke, age 34, was caught attempting to enter Bangladesh from India. He was spotted moving suspiciously along the India-Bangladesh border road. Following Weke's apprehension, the BSF arrested an Indian tout, Suraj Prasad, a resident of Amtali in the West Tripura district. Prasad, a known tout under BSF surveillance, was attempting to flee on a motorcycle when he was intercepted. In a separate operation, BSF personnel apprehended a 15-year-old Bangladeshi girl at Mangroli in North Tripura district. The minor was attempting to cross the border fence to enter India. Despite being a cold December night, Shillong City will feel the heat of summer of 69 and more as Canadian superstar Brian Adams continues to prove that the best is yet to come and everything I do, I do it for you. Known for his gravely voice and heartfelt lyrics, Adams will sway thousands of fans with his timeless hits straight from the heart. In a way that everyone present at the concert in JN Stadium on Tuesday night will say, we're in heaven. The 80s and 90s were his era, but his music has aged like fine wine, or should we say like a love that lasts all for love. Whether you're screaming out run to you during a road trip or quietly reminiscing over heaven, Adams has a knack for crafting tunes that starts the soul. Adams hinted that the concert at Shillong will cut like a knife right through the listeners as they reminisce and will start singing. All thinking about all our younger years, there was only you and me, we were young and wild and free. The Guwahati police, in a joint operation with the Special Operations Group SOG of the West District, have busted an interstate vehicle lifting gang and arrested six individuals linked to the racket. The arrested suspects have been identified as Muhammad Abdul Hanif Sheikh, age 32, from Jograpar, Dubri District, Muhammad Rafiq Ali, age 30, from Arikati, Kamrup District, and Muhammad Jakir Hussain, age 27, from the number 2 Seshahara Barpeta District. Based on secret intelligence, the Gorchok Police Station team launched an operation in collaboration with the SOG, leading to the apprehension of the three suspected bike lifters. Following the confessions, the police laid a trap in Jawai, Meghalaya, and arrested three more individuals allegedly involved in receiving the stolen vehicles. The receivers have been identified as Dibormi Amransong, age 26, and Tuna Dahun Matra, age 25, both from Karthane, West Jantia Hills, Meghalaya, and Rimiki Suchyang, age 22, from Sapai, Jawai, West Jantia Hills, District. More than 82% of rural households in the Garo Hills region of Meghalaya now have access to tap water under the Jal Jivan Mission or JJM, a significant leap from just 0.46% in 2019. Since the mission's launch, 2.28 lakh additional rural households have been connected to the water supply network, leaving only 0.49 lakh homes to be covered. The state government aims to achieve 100% coverage in the near future. The information was revealed in the current Lok Sabha session in response to a question posed by Member of Parliament Sri Saleng A. Sangma. The Minister of State for Jal Shakti, Sri V. Sumana, provided a comprehensive update on the mission's progress, key challenges and the steps being taken to overcome them. One of the main hurdles in the Garo Hills region has been its challenging terrain. Poor road connectivity, limited network access for real-time updates and reduced water discharge during lean seasons have hampered progress. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mitela. 